you from Marshalltown, Iowa. It's the 641, the Yerma Buster Day. Welcome to 641. My name is Lester K. How's everybody doing? Great! All right, all right, all right. We have a great show set up for you guys today. We're going to be sitting down with two members of the GLBTQ Alliance. One, Marie Shenman, and two, Austin Sales, a former war veteran. So help me welcome my first guest, ladies and gentlemen. Are we excited? Yes! All right, all right. Please help me welcome my first guest, GLBTQ Alliance founder, Marie Shenman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being on the show with us. Thank you. This is a 641. Are you excited to be here? Yes. Good, good. Now, Marie, so our topic today is the safe zone. As you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen these, these on campus, right? And we're going to, let's talk a little bit about that and GLBTQ. So let's start with you. Where, where are you from? What brings you here to Marshalltown? Um, I'm originally from Washington State. Mm -hmm. When I came here um, to go to graduate school at Iowa State and mm -hmm. found this wonderful position, and that's how I came here. Okay. And uh, Iowa State, what was your major? What did sociology. You major? Sociology? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, okay. And so does that, does sociology in, in, intertwine with GLBTQ any way, shape, or form? Yeah, in sociology, talk a lot about acceptance mm -hmm. and diversity. Okay. So that's kind of. So, so let's, let, let's, go, let's go straight to it. What is GLBTQ? Uh, the acronym stands for Gay, Lesbian, Trans, and Questioning. Okay. Questioning as in? Questioning. Questioning, questioning your sexuality. sexuality. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you started this group here in Marshalltown, and tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, I, this summer I put it together, and then... Um, so it was, it was before the school year that yeah. this idea came up, the summer? Yeah. Okay. And then it got passed in one of the first Senate meetings, mm -hmm. and then the students just started coming and rolling in. Um, so that's I put it together before there was student interest, okay. and then um, the interest just kind of built upon okay. that. Okay. So, what 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 has your group done on on campus? What what is the purpose of your GLBTQ? And the um, main purpose is a place for support for GLBTQ individuals and the allies and to promote education and awareness about GLBTQ issues for the MCC community. And you said the MCC community. Are you planning on making this group grow? Yes. Yes? How many, the, how many members do you have? Uh, we currently have 16. 16 members. Which is wow. pretty big. It's a big number. It's so, a big number. Mm, wow. Yeah. So, what is your plan to grow? What is your plan to expand and get your, get your group known and get, what are your goals? If I may? Um, our uh, future goals really is just kind of education on top of support, um, getting facts to the students about the realities of GBLTQ issues and promoting awareness so that we can start um, having acceptance and tolerance. Okay. Okay, and how do, you, how do you think the acceptance and tolerance has been taken uh, here on campus? Pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty positively. Good from yeah. your coworkers and mm -hmm. uh, f faculty and staff and students as well? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's jump in it. What, do you th what is the safe, safe zone, zone exactly? I mean, the, these, these are pretty cool. I mean, yes. yeah, talk about these a little bit. The uh, safe zone it, um, indicates places where um, it's essentially a zone that is safe mm -hmm. for GLBTQ individuals where discrimination against them won't be tolerated mm -hmm. and a place for support. Um, it's often misinterpreted as a place for counseling mm -hmm. and that's not what it is. Okay. It's just simply a place that um, discrimination won't be tolerated. Okay. So what can, what can a student expect when they come in a safe zone? They can expect the um, faculty or staff member that's there to support them in their identity, to not discriminate against them in any way. And if something does occur within that space, the um, person that kind of holds ownership of the office will do their best to um, get the fire out and not accept that kind of, um, any kind of, like if anyone says any discriminatory language, mm -hmm. the person in that space will um, take care of it and not accept that okay. behavior. And when you went around, and um, did you just are these random? Are they just put on doors, or how? How is it? How how are they like? How did you pick which teachers or faculty um, to, to go be, to? Yes, to be to, to um, be a safe zone. Owner. Just it started with, mainly with members going to them, those that they knew, okay. and asking them if they wanted to put it up. 
And if they didn't, they simply um, said thank you and walked away. Um, and a big shout out to Sarah Holtzclaw for doing most of the legwork. Yeah, and, so. um, and we got about close to 70 out that way. Wow. And then we started kind of losing track of who got one. And um, so then I just sent an email to faculty and then they requested the um, decals if they wanted them. And do you get, do you get feedback from faculty? Um, for example, maybe they talk to a student and they say, hey, Marie, um, I spoke with so-and-so. Um, maybe I'm going to send them to you. Have you got any, any feedback like that? Or do you think that um, your faculty is able to handle um, situations that come? Or if not, would you elaborate on that, if that makes sense? They, um, I think they're pretty good at handling. I've had some um, say that they've recommended the group to students, but um, not specifically to me to reach out that way. Okay, so. okay, okay. And I saw you guys, you guys did uh, this. These are really cool, actually. These are really cool. Um, these Ally and Pride, um, you guys gave these out. Mm -hmm. um, was it about a couple, weeks, couple, ago. couple weeks ago? And what, what were these to indicate, this Ally and Pride? They're, they're um, to kind of um, promote the group, recruit students, and just really get um, some awareness out about the um, club and the topic. Well, so so. Give, give us a goal. Give us a goal. What, what, what do you plan for? Geo, what is like a big goal for the end of the year for GLBTQ or even for the <coughs> semester? Um, getting more um, information out to students with, um, such as facts and data, maybe putting on a movie or a panel. So okay. just um, going beyond the kind of awareness and actually getting actual information out there. Okay, thank you. Marie Shenman, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break. DJ Grant, check us out. <laughs> We are often asked, what exactly does the Marshalltown Area United Way do? We help people from all walks of life. We help families, babies, kids, teenagers, moms, dads, seniors, and those with terminal health issues. People who need hope. We improve people's lives. We invite you to be a part of it. MarshalltownUnitedWay.org Hello everybody and welcome back to the 611. My name is Lester K. <laughs> all right, all right. Marie Shenman, lovely lady. Thank you for being on my show. Uh, coming up next, I have former war veteran Austin Sales. Help me welcome him. Austin, come out here. Hey, how's it going? Now, 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 get this, get this, get this. Austin, Austin told me backstage that he can dance better than me, so. <laughs> do, do you guys want to see something? Do you guys want to see something? Yeah. Make some noise if you want to see something, then come on. Yeah, hang on, let's go. Grant, bring that up, let's go. Give Austin something. He wants to show me up. Oh! Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. 601, what do you think, man? Oh, I think it's great. Thank you, it's thank awesome. You. <laughs> so, Austin, start, just tell us a little bit about yourself. From, you're from West Des Moines? Yes, I'm from West Des Moines. Yeah. From where, like, high school wise? Oh, I actually went to Valley High Valley School. High school. Yeah. Valley High School. I'm a Des Moines Hoover. I'm a Husky. I'm a Husky, so <laughs> I know, I know. So, Austin, what brings you out here to Marshalltown? Uh, Marshalltown, I mainly found the college uh, because it said on the internet site that it was uh, a college feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just at a community college, you're not just educated, you know. You're also feeling that kind of uh, young college. intervention 
feeling, you know. Okay, so. okay, okay. And what do you think of it so far? Uh, so far, it's been great. Um, the people here are awesome. Uh, the teachers, you know, you get a, a closer hand than mm -hmm. the teachers do mm -hmm. to the small population. The, the student-teacher the student ratio here is very yeah. good. It's very well balanced. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, a little bit about your, your war veteran. See so you mm -hmm. brought this flag out here for you. Represent America. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so tell us, tell us a little bit about um, when, when you went off, when you were sent off, how that was. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I took a, uh, I received a phone call actually on Wednesday morning. It was mm -hmm. 8 o'clock in the morning. and. Uh, I got a phone call from my readiness NCO and he said, hey, by the way, uh, you're being deployed. I said, huh? And he goes, yeah, you're being deployed and you're going to go to, uh, we, we haven't given you your orders yet, but um, uh, pack your bags, get ready. So I had two weeks to get going and uh, went down to Mississippi. From Mississippi, I flew all the way across the uh, ocean into uh, Tajikistan, from Tajikistan to Tajik Afghanistan. Wait, in Afghanistan, right? Yes, in Afghanistan. So, and what age were you? Uh, I was uh, 18. 18. Yep. As in, how do you, how does that, how does that come in? Like, phone call, <laughs> 8 a.m. Um, you know, like, I, we're, hey, Austin, you're going. Like, you're I actually uh, volunteered for it. Oh, you did. Yes. Okay, so, um, so you weren't surprised. It wasn't, no, uh, it wasn't much of a surprise when you got the call. I mean, it was a surprise because they told us we had a slight chance of going. Okay. But uh, it was very, um, uh, how do you say it, heart pounding, heart -pounding. to uh, get that phone call because we all did raise our hands in the room at the same time. You know, they asked us, who wants to get deployed? And we're all just, yeah. you know, immediately. Because it's uh, a lot of us in, in the military, it's, uh, it's an honor to do what we do. To so, serve. Yeah. To serve. And I'll do it again and again. And if, even if you didn't pay me, I'd still do it. So. All right. All right. I'll Austin, come on. Come on. <laughs> So you're 18, you're in Afghanistan, you're out here in war, literally. <clears throat> How does one cope? Uh, you know, uh, actually, um, best way of coping is having your birthday yeah. uh, the day you land the, the, in Afghanistan. <laughs> and uh, it was actually February 10th, and uh, I turned 19. Okay. And uh, that was quite interesting. but. Uh, you know, it is difficult. Um, you have to be able to have humor mm -hmm. with uh, seriousness, and uh, you. But be I say that again: humor with seriousness. With seriousness, yes. Explain that. Um, at serious times, you act serious, but to keep yourself from uh, losing your uh, sense of where you are, losing, um, going, going berserk, basically, you have to have that slight kick of humor. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say we're driving down the road, and all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, uh, RPG comes flying into the side of my truck, you know? And uh, all of a sudden, someone in the back will say, hey, did you feel that? And you go, really? You, you don't think I felt that? You know, I'm the one driving. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's stuff like that, that it keeps you sane throughout the entire period. Mm -hmm. so. And how long, how, long were you, how long were you out there? I was out there for seven months, 14 days, six hours, and 42 seconds. <laughs> I <laughs> counted the seconds, the tenth of seconds, I'll the hundredth of seconds. I really did. Uh, flying over from the border to Tajikistan, I, yeah. I, I watched my clock. Synchronized, and, synchronized. And uh, I didn't actually kiss the ground until I made it to Germany. You kissed so. the ground. I kissed the ground in Germany. Yep. Wow, wow. And I, we spoke about this, um, Germany, how, how when you landed, when you landed, you guys saw, you saw grass, right? What was it? Saw grass. You saw grass. It was the most luscious grass I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just, just by the, and of course you guys were out in the desert. Most yes. Most of the time, so no grass. No grass, uh, <laughs> slight amount of trees, slight amount of water. I mean, you know, it's, it's really a, it's a nasty tundra out there. It's, it's brutal. Okay. So, yeah. Well, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Uh, Austin Sales, DJ Grant, bring us up. We'll be right back. We're here today to really sort of open the door to the city and area of Marshalltown to stop hating and stop bullying across the community. Basically our goal is to make sure that people come to the understanding that it's no longer tolerated. It's not a cool thing to do here. And so we want people to sign a pledge with us, sign up for this, and really attack this as we, as we move forward in a more kind way than to be bullies or to be overbearing to other souls. Back at the 6 for one here, I'm Lester K. Austin Sales with me here. 
So Austin, we just got done talking about how you just landed in Germany and how that was awesome. So let's bring it back to the States. You come back home, you've been away for seven months, you've been at war. Mm -hmm. What is that? From, from what I've heard, from what I've, people I've talked to, war veterans, coming back is different. Uh, yes, very much so. It, it is. Explain. Um, you know, you, you deal with many uh, challenges. Uh, and so your body is used to adrenaline pumping used to being shot at, you're used to being uh, in a time of, in a, in a combat zone. You, you really are and uh, to be able to come back to a a free country where there's no really violence in, in, a, in our, in a combat sort mm -hmm. of way, uh, it is very challenging to get your body to go down to the normal limit of, hey you're safe, this isn't a combat zone. So it is, it is very challenging and it comes up with uh, many different things of, uh, you know, in case of like PTSD or... Are you, are you ever, are you ever, um, maybe <clears throat> you hear a booming sound or a bang over here and you... I, I, I do. I, every once in a while in the hallway, um, I remember the, I think the first week I came here, uh, someone uh, slapped something down on the table and I think I spot hit the deck, but, Whew. you know, <laughs> it is, it's very, it's very sketchy, you know, just a click of a... Of a pen, you know, it'll it'll get me going. So, so now, Austin, you carry yourself. You're one person that I've seen here on campus, and you carry yourself very well. You, a, a soldier, if you will. Yeah. A soldier, if you will. Um, and here on campus, school, um, and then GLBTQ. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your experience coming to Marshalltown and <clears throat> joining this group with Marie. Um, well, may I say first of all. Um, I am uh, not open in the military, okay. but I am open in the civilian world. The only reason for that is because uh, it's just not as well uh, welcoming into the military. And but do you do you have a choice? Do you are you given the option of opening yourself to the military? Oh yes, uh, it is legal. They they okay. um, they may allowed it legal to uh, be open and in the military now. But but you're saying it's not it's <clears throat> it's not kind of looked upon. yes it's kind of fine frowned upon okay. still. Okay. Okay. So. But uh, yeah, I came to Marshalltown actually uh, as you know I wanted to get away from my uh, unit in Des Moines and I wanted to be able to come here and kind of relax here. It was kind of my vacation. Okay. And. Um, but to be able to come to this college, uh, I was hoping that there was already a club mm -hmm. started because yeah. you know being a soldier and also being bisexual can be very difficult. So uh, you know I was hoping maybe there'd already be people with open arms here mm -hmm. when I came to Marshalltown. But th there was still people with open arms, mm -hmm. but uh, the club just wasn't uh, you know fully established. established. You know I didn't see signs anywhere for mm -hmm. uh, any type of safe zone deal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I was I was a little I was a little scared to continue school okay. uh, without you know a helping hand. Okay. So, and when this helping hand came along, um, what do you think? Oh wow! I, you know, when I first heard that someone was even going to start one, I was just like, oh thank God! Like yeah. finally, I'm in a school where you know th they're going to accept me for who I am. You know, it was, it was very challenging. You know, going throughout all all throughout the world, knowing that really no one really wants to accept at all and uh, when they first came out with the with the safe zone card I mean to be able to go into any teacher's room with that little safe zone card up there you're just like I can take a big deep breath in there and let it all out and it's it's nice to be able to know that and I hope that when other students come here mm -hmm. to Marshalltown uh, next semester or the, the fall I hope they realize you know they're gonna see that card and they're gonna go hey that kinda you know kinda has the rainbow on it and they know what that is and it's gonna say safe zone they already know mm -hmm. and uh, I believe that it'll make them feel calmer you know so as as it did you yes very much so yeah. so let me let me jump back here chapter um, back to Valley High School mm -hmm. um, in my high school uh, Hoover we had a, we had an alliance kinda like this uh, very accepting. Um, my school is very diverse. Yes. So, Valley High School is the other way around. Yeah. How, how was the diversity? Let me ask. Or how was the acceptance at Valley? You know, or is there no acceptance at Valley? I, to this day, I, I really don't know because I, I don't ever go back for a certain reason. Uh, <laughs> high school is high school. That's in the past. Okay. But um, uh, it was very hard for me. I was very closed very closeted in mm -hmm. high school because uh, it wasn't really known. I mean, we had a small GSA club, mm -hmm. but 
No one really announced it. Ever. GSA, Gay Straight Alliance. Gay Straight okay. Alliance, yes. Okay. And uh, you never saw it on the computer. You never saw it uh, on the TV monitors. You never saw uh, flyers hanging up in the hallway. It was very, very um, conclu secluded. Okay. So uh, in that sort of sense, I never went to it because uh, I felt afraid that it, it wouldn't go anywhere. Like, what's this going to do for me? So. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it was very difficult uh, in, in high school, so. But hopefully nowadays, just because it's becoming more aware, obviously, uh, everywhere in the United States. Mm -hmm. you, um, it's, it's big. Yeah, it's big now. I mean, you know, people realize, you know, we're just human beings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you are. That so, you are. Yeah. How do you feel about the, the gay marriage um, law being passed in Iowa here in the state that you live in? You know, I, I love it. Um, I know some people were uh, quite angry that it wasn't uh, a public vote, so mm -hmm. to say. But then again, um, what right do they have to say that I can't be married to another man? Uh, in fact, why not call it, uh, why not just make the, uh, another man, the, the title man, disappear? Mm -hmm. Why not make it someone I love that I can marry? So, in that sort of sense, you know, it's just, we're all human beings. Uh, I don't use the title, I don't go up to people and go, hey, I'm Austin Sales, the bisexual. Right. No, I go, hey, I'm Austin Sales, the really cool guy that can dance better than Lester. <laughs> but, you hear this guy? <laughs> you hear this guy? <laughs> but. So, you guys are probably going to remember him as Austin Sales, the guy who can dance better than Lester for one day. <laughs> 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 but, yeah. So, now you're here. You're living 19? Yes. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, 20. You're wow. 20 now. You're 20 now. You're 20 now. <laughs> goes by. It goes by. Right? <laughs> you're 20 now, and you're here in college, and you're accepted. Yes, that's nice. What is, what is that intake? What is that intake from the military, the high school, and all the other crap that's, that you've had to deal with? Because I... I, I it's not. It's not easy. No, it's no. not easy. We we we've, we've spoken and I've spoken mm -hmm. with some members at GLBTQ, and it's not. It's not easy to not be accepted. Every day, people walk down these hallways, and you know they're with their head down because they're scared of who they are. They they don't feel comfortable because they feel that if they say this and this that. Nobody's ever going to talk to them. People will think otherwise of them. How does it feel? <clears throat> okay. Um, you take a second. You're good. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it is still difficult um, to be uh, who I am. Uh, coming from the military to college, uh, you know, I still have troubles with it because it's uh, still hated upon in the military. Mm -hmm. But um, it's nice that I can come here uh, to this great place and have such a um, uh, such a time to be, uh, you know, more open. I, I've honestly more open than I've ever been anywhere else. Uh, is this college? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm open with my friends back at home. A lot of my friends already know, uh, mm -hmm. but um, here it's a lot different. It's uh, this place has really changed my life for the better. So, and are we are we glad to live in a country so? So free, yeah. That's, that's true. You know, the land of the free and the home of the brave, right? Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Austin Sales. This is a six pro one. My name is Lester K. Uh, stick around. We'll be back here next Thursday with our show. Our topic is undecided yet, but we'll have something on Thursday. DJ Grant, take us out.